Do you know what predatory publishing is? They are businesses and they will take your, your money because they know how desperate we are to get things published. And who do they target? People like you and me. The big target play, um, continents are Africa and Asia because we're under pressure. Okay, And what they will do is there is not a day that I do not get an email like this. Dear Dr. Leslie Swartz, hope this mail finds you well. I'm so delighted they care about my health. Thank you very much for your attention to International Journal of something or other. It will be a great honor. Um, and also, it will be published in the, like in the next two minutes. Like, you know, you know, because I'm in a hurry. I'm going up for a promotion. There are lots of them. Um, here you are, this one. Um, greetings. I hope they, they always, they're so concerned about my health, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, they, um, so this was two weeks ago, and it said, being impressed by your research work, we're communicating, can you send, su submit your paper, and this is how you do it, and then, then they've, they've highlighted, no, publication on the 30th of October, so they will guarantee publication before they've even seen anything that I've written. This, if it's too good to be true, if it feels too good to be true, it is. We love your thesis for free. We're going to make your thesis into a book. Send us the thesis. You send them the thesis. They find, they find a picture you know, on the internet. They, they, they make a, a cover and they, they slap that picture on. And then they say to you, would you like a few deluxe copies of your thesis? Only $100 each. And, and, and then they will post you, indeed, six copies of your thesis with a new cover on. Not a word has been edited. Nothing's been changed. That's not a book. If you publish with these journals, and I, I know some of you have because I, I've, I've seen it, it's okay to make a mistake once or twice. But if you keep doing it, it's worse than not publishing because you are then part of a racket. So they will accept anything, anything, and I'll show you what they accept, and they will take your money. But where does it come from? And this is really important, particularly for those of us in, in uh, Africa. It actually comes from something which is the most important positive change in, um, in uh, publishing, I think, for decades. And it's revolutionized. And that is the principle of open access. So when you publish an article in a journal, the journal has to employ people. Okay, they've got to employ people to write the emails, to do the technical editing. They'll send things to academics for free, and they generally, I mean, like as an editor, I don't get paid anything. But in fact, I get a little, little bit of which, which I don't use, and I'll explain to you what I, what I use it for. So it has to be paid for, and, the, and the, the general old model of payment is you then charge people who want to read the journal subscription fees. So University of Ghana... Do you get social science and medicine here, for example, as a journal? It's extremely expensive. I can't remember what it costs. It's you know, lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, they are paying a subscription to enable you to get access to that. And now, unfortunately, many institutions, including yours, I'm sure, because mine is a much richer institution and we struggle, can't afford all of these subscriptions. Uh, and many people are at universities, particularly in lower and middle income countries, where they can't afford a lot of the journals. So I, mean, I, I was running a workshop in, uh, for some people in Malawi, and they, uh, they were expected to publish in a journal called Health Policy and Planning, which is a lovely journal, but they couldn't read the journal because they didn't have access to a university subscription. And as individuals, I mean, it's, you know, it's, you know you see, sometimes you want to get an article and it says, like, it's only going to cost you $60 to get this one article. I mean, who's got $60? Okay, so, so people became very concerned about this because this is, this is, again, it's reproducing unequal access to knowledge. So they said, okay, well, can we invert this whole system? And people with research grants who have money, can't they pay the costs of each article being published? And then the, and then the article is available free to anybody who wants to read it. And this is, this is in fact, the model of all of the, the public um, library of science, plus medicine, plus one, and so on. They're all free. So anybody who has access to the internet anywhere in the world can access that. There are no subscription fees. It's free. Similarly, the whole of Biomed Central, which is a huge number of journals, uh, BMC, Health Systems, it's all completely free. Um, and there are also some groups which will try and get journals cheaper, like in Ari and so on. 
the journal which I'm editor of, African Journal of Disability. Similarly, not only is it free, but I can look at, as the editor, I can see that people who are in countries that, that don't have universities that can afford subscriptions are reading my journal. So it's great. It's, it means better access. But the predatory people just jumped on this model because we still have peer review. And they said, okay, well, well, we'll, we'll just get people to pay and then people will think it's okay. So that's, that's where the predatory stuff comes in. So if you get asked to pay page fees, it doesn't mean that it's a predatory journal. It may be. And, and the other thing is that many journals, and this is important for you in Ghana because it, it often is a disincentive, Many, many journals have a scheme that people... Ghana is a, is a low-income country. Yeah. <coughs> Particularly low-income countries. They have a scheme that if you're publishing from a low-income country, they, they, you won't have to pay the page fees. No. And I can tell you as a journal editor of an open access journal, over my dead body would I ever not publish something because the author couldn't pay. I will find a way. I have always found a way. So if you want to publish in, in a good journal, which is open access, which means a whole lot of other people in Africa can, can read it, don't be put off by the, by the fact that there are page fees. Because generally speaking, in fact, I've never heard a case where it hasn't happened. The, the editor will work with you. Or your university will find them. Like you'll find a way. But it's an incredibly important model because it's, it's creating better access to, to knowledge.